Good morning, this is Rachel Maxwell, and uh, I'm going to be talking about my ELL students. Um, I have a few ELL students in my class. Um, we have about 24 students, and most of them are actually at a level four, which is quite advanced. Um, uh, I've been on maternity leave, so uh, last night was the first night that I was actually able to meet uh, one of my parents and to be able to talk with them. So, uh, But one of my uh, students, which is uh, more on a level three, um, uh, when I was talking to the parent, they had uh, a translator, and uh, they were they were uh, talking to me about all the different fields of their student, and their student seemed to be a little a little low in math computation, but seemed to do pretty well in uh, in uh, uh, reading, which was impressive. And uh, anyways, some writing that I have to show you. Uh, this is one of them. And it says, stick your Hans and golden bubbles. And what I notice in this writing is that the Hans, rather than saying hands, um, I notice that uh, the O in hands should be an A. Also with bubbles, there should be a double B in bubbles. And so um, I've been talking to the student about uh, what they need to do to be able to, you know, some words, some sight words that they need to practice on, have a double B or... Um, Whenever, you know, with the hands, some of the spelling, which might have an A, is, is just slow it down and be able to have the student sound out every single letter. So when we say hands, and he wrote Hans, I was coaching him and asking him, what do you think goes instead of the O? And so I had them sound it out, and I said it with them, and they said hands, and then they said it with me, hands. I said, what makes the eh sound? And so they said E, and so I said, okay, that could be, kind of sounds like an E, but it's actually hands, so it's like an ah. And so we had them um, clarify a little bit with some of the sight words and also know with like uh, bubbles and some of the other words. Um, <laughs> sorry, I have a student, he wants my attention. Anyways, it's uh, school hasn't started yet, it's my daughter. Anyways, um, so I've been working on sight words with them and to be able to let them know with some of the letters that have uh, double B's, double P's, like puppet. E even though we hear the one P, there's actually two P's, things like that. And so uh, that was that writing. Another writing um, from one of my other students is this. And they were saying using, 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 getting, getting, getting. And on using, they forgot the silent E. And so uh, they were spelling it U-S-I-N-G. And so uh, I was talking to them about the silent E as well. And so I'm also working with them on silent, uh, silent E. So some of the areas that I'm working on is the double consonants, um, uh, the silent E. Also, um, I'm working on sounding out uh, the letters and the words. And another writing I have from one of my other students in ELL is this one. And they go, the setting is a family, Roman, the house. Marcia was using the computer. And so I worked a little bit on uh, that it's roaming, even though they're used to hearing Roman. And so uh, I was just clarifying with them about how there's a G. Again, I did the sounding out with them, roaming. What makes a G sound, the ing. So we went over a lot of ing words. Um, going back to parent-teacher conference last night when I was talking to the one student, student's mother who uh, had the translator, um, I talked to her about a wonderful program that we have, the Pearson Realize program, and uh, she can go online. We changed the language to Spanish so that uh, my student can read and follow along, and so can their parent to be able to go more in depth on some of the words that they need to practice in English, and so it'll have the instructions in Spanish, and it'll have the words in English with pictures to be able to help the students. So. Um, I apologize, it's a little late, but uh, maternity leave, and, and I had to be able to have a chance to at least meet one of my parents. The other parents for my ELL students didn't show up. So, but it seems like this parent was very active, uh, wants to make sure that their student is very successful. And um, anyways, just keep working with the other students, um, all my ELL and ESL students on uh, the sight words, the silent E, sounding it out, taking time with them in reading groups. So, anyways. Uh, hopefully things will be successful and uh, I'll have some more writings in the future and y'all have a great day.
Peace out.